Flying Bunnies Club. Where we put a whole bunch of rabbits up in a tree and then catch them as they jump out, preventing them from splattering all over the ground. And everything is going great. I'm winning, as usual, by rescuing the most rabbits. And then BAM! Out of nowhere, one of them fucking splatters itself all over my face. Seriously, I feel like a car windshield encountering a stupid fucking bird or something, and it hurts and I'm covered in blood, so I go to scrape it off in my pile of bunnies, but the judge is like, NOT RESCUED DOESN'T COUNT! And at the end of every contest, which I didn't win because of the time that it took that took me to scrape bunny guts off my face, some bitch snatched up like 14 rabbits out of the air. So we have to climb up the trees and bring the bunnies that were supposed, that were too scared, to jump back down to safety. So we're rescuing rabbits, and whoosh, this giant fucking lawnmower blade comes up and chops off the winner's feet. Just completely mauls them over one of her toes, and one of her toes is hanging from her ankle, and her other foot is just completely decimated, and she's crying and bleeding all over the ground, showering her winner's pile with blood, and someone was like, oh man, I gotta tweet this, and I'm like, are you fucking retarded? We haven't even taken a picture first, Then I hear this really familiar evil laughter, who the fuck is that? Later we find the blade in her shoes, and it's nothing like a lawnmower blade at all. It's more like a really sharp knife. Who could have done this? As I'm walking home, I see a really gross, creepy green dude. He totally looked like this guy on the right is hitchhiking, and I hate him. So I run home really fast, and shortly after I get home, I see my neighbor opening his trunk and unwrapping the green fellow, and he's walking up to the doorstep. Why is he ugly? And my father says, oh, finally, my radiation victim from Zimbabwe has arrived, all proud and happy of his abomination ugly, that is coming into the house. Oh, and sitting God, on the couch, oh God, gross! So I'm sitting there on the floor because I do not want to be near this thing, and that bunny romp made me really too tired, so I fall asleep, and then BAM! A gloved hand with razors on my grabs my knees, and one of the razors is missing, and I was like, YOU FUCK, YOU CUT OFF MY TEAMMATE'S FEET! And he starts stroking my knee my with knee, the blade, knee, super knee, lightly, knee, but it cuts knee, right through my, my pants knee, away, and I am like, did, knee, did this for knee, you, knee, and I'm gonna do you another knee, favor, knee, stay asleep! Knee, and I wake up immediately, and I'm yelling at the green thing, NO, THAT'S TERRIBLE! No, that's playing at the green thing. 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 And he's like, God, I just wanted you to dream in black and white. It's not like I wanted you to pour a gallon of blood in my bowl of Cheerios or anything. This relationship has no balance. I'm picturing a bowl of bloody Cheerios and how gross that would taste. And while my mind wanders off, I look over and Freddy is playing with my brother's guts back. And he's like, you don't pay enough attention to me, and I want you to pay attention to me. He's gone, maybe you look out more. And then he runs off before my dad realizes what happened. So I run to my room to go pout because that was a dick thing to do, and I hear that fucking high-pitched horror movie. Ra 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 Sound, and Freddy is outside cutting off his nipples and sticking them to the window, laughing, and I open the window and take them off and throw them at him while he skips away and lie down and pout more, and rah, 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 sticks his nipples to my forehead, which I rip off and throw him out again, and I turn over. And then he's standing next to my friend in my bed, and he throws his nipples and then runs off, so I flush them down the toilet, and he comes back outside the window. Ra, 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 pouting, saying, you're not like you used to be. The Daphne I know would take the nipples and say, what I ordered olives on my pizza, these nipples look nothing like olives. And I turn over, ignoring him, but then realize that he's right. I am being a big, whiny baby. So I cut off my own nipples and pull out part of my intestines and stick them on the window to make a smiley face next time he comes back. But he was already gone.